Hello, this is Aaron with AaronOnAutos.com, and this is your Driving in Wyoming podcast. Today I want to talk about the 2013 Nissan Juke Nismo. Nissan calls this a sport crossover, and the Nismo package is their racing package, so it adds uh, a little more horsepower. It lowers the stance, uh, tightens the springs, gives it a better um, sportier, I guess, uh, feel and a little better handling. Other than those upgrades, the rest of the Nismo package is mostly about uh, aesthetics. It has the Nismo badging, uh, the interior has changed, the seating is phenomenal. Uh, they use sport seats that just kind of hug you in, but aren't uncomfortable. They aren't hard as a rock like most sport seats. As an everyday car, the Juke Nismo is pretty good. Uh, I, it's very comfortable, it's, uh, it's utilitarian, it has enough uh, fun, uh, you know, kind of fun factor and, and uh, quirkiness to make it interesting to drive every day. Uh, it doesn't get boring at all. I drove the Juke Nismo for about a week, and in that time, I got very close to my 500-mile <laughs> limit. It's a lot of fun to drive. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, I think most people would probably be happy with the standard Juke in all-wheel drive uh, here in Wyoming. It has that great Nissan uh, CVT, Continuously vari tr Variable Transmission. Handles well in most situations. Uh, I had it in dirt, I had it in mud, I had it on the uh, on the regular highway, and I had it in the rain. It didn't snow during the time, but it did rain. Generally, if a vehicle handles pretty well in in the uh, mud, it will handle you know in a light mud uh, in a you know wet dirt road. It will do well in the snow, and the uh, Juke does very well. So it's a good vehicle, I think, for uh, Wyoming drivers. It gets uh, good highway mileage, about 30 miles per gallon on the highway. I got better than that most of the time. Uh, if you put it down in echo mode and you you know don't drive like a bandit, then it will do okay. Um, it does pretty well. It seats four, but the back two seats are really for children uh, and and uh, car seats. I don't think you will get many adults back there. The cargo area is larger than it looks. It looks like it's it's non-existent from the outside but when you open the hatch you see kind of how that little bulge that goes on and uh, the design actually creates a pretty good sized cargo area and then you can fold the back seats down to create even more overall the juke is a great vehicle it's fun um, it does well it has all the stuff that you would expect you have to like the styling though if you don't like the way the juke looks it's very polarizing so you're either going to love it or hate it and a lot of people don't like it. My wife does not like the look of the car. I think it looks awesome. So it's totally up to you, uh, but I think it's a great choice. It doesn't cost too much. I believe the base package for the Nismo uh, begins at about 22900 somewhere in there. And uh, the packages we drove it, which had all the bells and whistles, uh, navigation, Rockford Fosgate, uh, Echo Punch, you got to have that. that. That is the greatest sound system ever. And in this little car, it just resonates beautifully inside the cabin. Sounds really good. Uh, XM radio, et cetera, et cetera. All that stuff um, with the, the uh, improved wheel package, the really nice blacked out wheels. They look really cool. Um, and the other things that go with it. This was about 27 and a half uh, MSRP. That's not too horrible. Uh, you can get a, into a regular Jeep juke for cheaper than that uh, the all-wheel drive juke uh, for the 2013 year I believe begins at around 22,000 uh, for 2014 they're starting them at about the same 22.5 I think is the uh, is the base model uh, all-wheel drive they're great little cars lots of fun to drive and they really really shine on dirt uh, most of the video you're watching right now is showing this thing in the dirt because that is what it's good at even in the non-Nismo package, it is a great little rally machine. It's lots of fun. So this is a fun car to own. If you don't have a big family, you don't have a lot of stuff to tote around all the time, or if you need a second car, uh, but you want that all-wheel drive and don't want to give up you know, the fun part, this is a great choice. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So there you go. This has been the Driving in Wyoming podcast, and this week we drove the 2013 Nissan Juke Nismo. This has been Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com. Talk to you again soon.